an area code is an identity. But what really changes when the first three digits do? Hello? Hi. We made some calls. Good, how are you? We reached Ray Robinson. Hi, Chris. He's from here, now living in California, area code 657. Number changes are nothing new there. Well, you look at it and you go, well, is there any way that I can keep the standard area code. The mid-state is now set to follow suit, dialing back the use of 717. I didn't think there was that many people in this area that, you know, we would actually be running out of numbers. <laughs> the Public Utility Commission says within a couple years, 717 will run out. It's a long time, but not a long time. Nils Hagen Fredrickson gives us the 411 on the 717. <laughs> You're going to use that on Twitter, right? That was uh, his joke. He says the PUC is looking mainly at a couple options. One would be to divide the 16 counties into two different area codes, meaning some would have to change numbers. The other is what's called an overlay. New numbers would get the new code regardless of where they are. Now the PUC wants public input. What the commission wants to hear from people is not only what their position is on those two options, but whether they have any other ideas. I wouldn't want to change people's numbers. Either way, most of us have cell phones that store numbers. So I don't think it'd be much of an impact for most people, including myself. Ray worries more about older phone users used to dialing seven numbers, not ten. It's just a matter of getting used to things. Whichever thing Thanks. the commission eventually chooses. You're welcome. Have a good day. Working for you. All right, you have a good one. Thank you, Chris. Chris Davis, ABC 27 News.